all right garden friends welcome back today y'all i don't care it is april 12th 13th and technically our last frost date is april 15th and y'all i don't even care i can i know that i can protect my my plants if we get a freakishly cold night and i am just ready to get started so in this video we are going to be planting one of my family's favorite, which is green beans. You just gotta put your seeds in the ground. That's it. That's it. So I like to grow the bush bean varieties because instead of them growing up something, um, they'll just get bushy. It'd be like a little bushy um, bush. <laughs> so I have the blue lake or the bush blue lake um, green beans. I really like these. We grew these last year. We grew them really well last year, but um, I found out then that my son really likes green beans. So it would be so cool to grow enough green beans for us to have fresh eatings all throughout the year. So my goal with the green beans is to plant or to, to harvest at least 10, 10 gallons of green beans so what i plan on doing is i'm going to can them as well excuse me as well as freezing them all right so i have these two varieties um this uh dragon bean tongue or dragon tongue beans um i've just seen really really great uh reviews on these they're pretty and i heard that they're pretty tasty so um we're gonna try to grow these as well so green beans are something that you can grow um, a lot of in a, in a small space. So that is what I plan on doing here um, in this place. This whole um, bottom half of this bed, this whole bottom half of this bed will be green beans. So I'm just trying to level this out. I had dumped some of my soil from my raised beds in this, I mean from my grow bags in this. So, on the package, it says that in um, a container, you can put six of the bush green bean plants, which is a lot. Um, last year, I, did, I didn't realize that, and I think I planted, like, maybe one in a space. So, like, I really was not utilizing my space the way it's supposed to be utilized. Um, so, I'm just going to put this here is like my little indentation just like that and then I'm gonna do the same thing right here as you can see I didn't go all the way to the end because my plan is to put in some um, onions right around the, the edges I'm growing onions everywhere that I can grow them so you can see I have two indentations here and um, this is where I'm going to grow my green beans. So I'm going to do, because this is um, not technically like square foot gardening, but so this is about 18 inches, I think it is. So I'm going to do um, four and four, four and four. And then I'll do um, four of the bush beans and, and then just four of the dragon tongue beans here. Because it's my first time growing the dragon tongue, I don't know how my family is gonna like it. So I'm gonna grow more of the blue bush variety. And then if they like the, the um, dragon tongues, then we have more than enough time where we can plant some more. As a matter of fact, what I plan on doing is um, starting some um, transplants of the green beans anyway. So that way when these ones get tired and they're done, I can also just pop in the transplant and we can keep going, okay? Um, so in my little area here, I'm going to put some water soluble, not water soluble, some, um, gosh, some granular plant food. So this will break down over the course of the next six to eight weeks and then I will add in some water soluble when I water these in and I tried to pre-soak this soil 
because this soil is so dry but it's not the best but we're gonna go ahead and get this started now i always tell people you have a lot of useful information on the back of your seed packet like aside from what we say like your seed packet gives you a lot of information so it says so an average soil in full sun at the danger of frost spring to early summer um, it says in rows 18 to 30 feet apart, sow seeds about three inches apart and cover with one inch of soil. So we want to plant these about um, an inch deep. Firm lightly and keep evenly moist. Seedlings will emerge in seven to 14 days. Then to stand about six inches apart when seedlings are one to two inches tall. Which is so crazy to me because you can grow five of these in a, in a 12 inch container. So... I don't know I don't know why that blows my mind like it just seems like it's not enough like you could be growing so much more and and we're not so I'm just gonna take this stuff stinks. I don't like the way this stuff smells I never like the granular smell but it took like two handfuls and then I'm just gonna work it in here you never want to plant directly onto any of your fertilizers you always want to mix them in all right so all i'm going to do is like even this out and then i'm going to put my little my divots in like that another one like that and like i said i'm growing much more of the the bean variety so sometimes you'll see beans that say like you should let them soak overnight this isn't this this kind. And I grew these from seed last year. So I'm going to put them in about an inch. And so like four, four fingers from each other. I don't do nothing fancy, y'all. Let's see, so that's one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do the same thing up here, but I like to stagger them. So one, two, three and four all right this is what the green beans look like big big beans easy for kids to help you it's not like a little cabbage seed or like a spinach seed Layla Buck has a hard time with those little tiny ones but these are much bigger and I actually feel a little guilty that she's not here to help me but she's in school and I just got to get this stuff in it's about time all right, so that stuff is in, and all I'm gonna do is cover it lightly, make sure that the soil is contacting my seeds. Just like that. And y'all, don't forget to label. I don't even have my labels out here. I'm really playing games right now. Um, but one thing about documenting your journey is you can look at look back at a video and figure out where stuff is because that's how I had to figure out in my small garden where my garlic was planted because I couldn't remember where I had planted it. But I just looked back at an old video and I found it. So just that easy, our green beans to end. So in this one, like I said, I'm going to do four more of the garden bush lake, the blue bush lake. And then I'm gonna do four of the dragon beans. Dragon tongue. I feel like Khaleesi. Any great any game of any ah any game of throners out there. Alright, so remember I put the worm castings and I'm mixing that in, and then I'm gonna put the um the granular fertilizer in. And then out, like I said, I will water this stuff in with a water soluble fertilizer All hopefully right. the next time um I, I show you guys the garden my green beans are starting to grow all right it's just that easy it's not complicated at all that's why i always say just put some seeds in the ground you know it's either gonna grow or it won't and if it doesn't guess what plant something else like it's not that complicated all right guys thank you so much for joining me if you haven't already hit the like button subscribe to our channel join the lamely and we'll see you guys in our next video all you gotta do put some seeds in the ground